I think it's the same. Okay, okay. No, it's different. Okay, okay. It's different than other things. So this image one. This is image two. Okay. No, not bad. Okay, but I recommend you that you have to choose um, a specific ratio for all of your images. Uh, so the width, uh, the width of uh, of each image, uh, it should be um, nine 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 hundred seventy by uh, three hundred forty uh, pixel uh, height. So that's all. So this image appears to be uh, more small. So it's not good to uh, choose. So here I'm going to choose uh, another image. As you see, that's all. Let's scroll down. Also, uh, we have the ability to um, enable or add uh, different images as the slide three, as this photo. Also, as the slide four, I had uh, I had also add um, image previous. We can disable or enable or replace uh, or click here directly to replace uh, this image with uh, with other images. Uh, so let's uh, leave it uh, as is. Okay, I'm going to choose this image. Uh, then go to uh, make uh, okay. That's all. So this is the new image. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's, it's okay. There's no problem for slide four. Let's scroll down. And here's a slide five. Uh, let's click here at uh, the slide five to show up uh, the other image. Click here. Click here. Click. Here. Okay. That's okay. Really, it's great looking. Finally, uh, if we want to add a new uh, photo with a slide five or slide six, so we can do that. Um, click here, uh, then adding a new image. Uh, if we, we need uh, to add uh, different images, let's go to um, another folder uh, to see um, if we have uh, any images. Let's click here to brands to see. Okay, let's go to choose this image. I think it's um, much small, much smaller than the default size. Okay. Oh no, it's illegal. No, no, no. Um, here I'm going to add uh, multiple images. Okay, different image. No, no, no. Okay. Let's make it disable because of I had uh, no image uh, with the best resolution or with the best uh, size uh, like this. Finally, uh, I'm going to uh, save changes as you see. Okay, here we go. That's all. Let's come back again after um, make all of uh, customization and managing for this slider. We have to go back. That's all for uh, the home page slideshow. Let's go to the home page uh, featured product. Uh, how to choose your your featured product? Click here at the featured product. Uh, featured product. Unfortunately, still now we didn't add any product, uh, but uh, no no result no result found none. So by the way, when we add um, new products, uh, we we can we have the ability to add uh, featured the product uh, to be appears or to to or to be represents or showing up at the home page. <coughs> Sorry. Now let's go to the home page uh, featured the collections. Uh, Let's go. Uh, let's try to see. Here we see the featured uh, collections. Uh, here we see the home page. Featured collection home page. It's okay. Home page. Here we see the number of products uh, per row. Uh, three. Let's try to add uh, four. Okay. Here we go. So by default, um, by default, it's a three. Okay. The size. It will be different. Okay should be different okay let's go to to number of uh, sorry number of rows five okay uh, still now uh, there's no no product um, there's no number of products uh, so that uh, let's go to choose uh, number two number of products per row it should add a two, but unfortunately there is no data. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, leave it uh, as is, uh, three by three. Then uh, show head show heading. If we, we are going to uh, click here to show headings, 
to be a featured item like this uh, example now go to uh, save change so th so that's the way to manage um, all of the uh, featured uh, collection at the home page let's go back uh, to the main of uh, launch uh, star at the, the at the main page or uh, for um, store now let's go to the home page um, feature the content uh, this is the featured content click here at the home page featured the content here you see the featured content home page featured content uh, it represents the home page content also we can choose another content like about us click here at about us uh, then it, because this content uh, it will be changed okay here we go here you see all of this uh, data comes up uh, with this option so let's go come back again to choose um, the home page uh, content um, or the home page um, uh, featured that's okay then let's go to come back so uh, now it's the time to go to the product page how to customize uh, the product page uh, through the theme click here at the product page to see what will happen also we'll come back uh, at this part uh, to to add more customization so here we see the product page um, show quantity selector if we leave it it will uh, disappear so image uh, zoom light box or uh, zoom in or new zoom so light box uh, looking great for uh, showing the products also here we see the product uh, thumbnail position uh, below below main image or right of uh, main image if we are going to choose uh, right of main image uh, it will comes up to the right main i encourage you to uh, choose um, below main image that's a good uh, user experience also here we see the enable related products uh, that's a good idea to be shown with its uh, with each product that's all let's come back again to continue uh, by the way at this uh, at these contents uh, featured content uh, or collections or page we have to add the products so we will come back again at this uh, at these uh, parts uh, when we add um, new products uh, with the next with the next uh, section so be patient um, to learn more at the section two of adding product then you have to come back again to add uh, these uh, settings uh, with your team so let's go to the uh, collection page so this is the collection page uh, to to help you how to customize and how to manage uh, collection page here we see the show uh, product uh, sell uh, circle uh, show product uh, sold out uh, circle enable collection uh, sorting uh, enable tag sorting uh, you have to check or uncheck all of these features if you want if you want to add or, or if you want to enable or disable some of these features here you see num number of products uh, per row uh, three four you have to add a um, number of uh, products um, to be uh, shown like this uh, three or uh, two or one you have to choose um, your settings um, with the featured uh, products um, when you add um, any products you have to do that uh, let's come back again to see um, the other uh, contents of the main page let's go to the cart page so this is the cart page enable order uh, notes um, so this is the cart page by the way enable order uh, notes if you want to add uh, enable uh, if we are going to choose the, the enable order uh, uh, notes uh, for um, the products um, at the page of card uh, so this is the, the page of card when you click at the bo at this part your cart uh, is currently empty uh, so we have to enable or um, disable these notes um, as you want also here you see the stay on the current page uh, when an item is added um, to the card this features allows you allows us to stay on the current page when we add product uh, to uh, the card so that's all these are features uh, these are good features uh, for the adding pages for the card by the way let's go back again to the home page to see how to continue let's go to the social media this these are the social media social media appears um, to be uh, on the bottom of the site uh, 
if we add uh, this uh, these links uh, so uh, let's go to adding or customize um, some of these uh, social media here um, we have to add um, we, we have the ability to add um, account of Twitter or Facebook or Pinterest or Google Plus or Instagram or um, uh, Tumblr or YouTube channel or uh, Vimeo or uh, Fancy or RSS uh, all of these uh, links um, can be uh, integrated to the site of um, Shopify store so that's all let's come back again that's all for uh, the home page uh, the last thing is check out this is the check out page um, we can add uh, some banners uh, with a check out um, use custom background if you want to uh, if we uh, if we wants to use um, uh, custom background uh, by adding uh, some picture here also we can add uh, some images um, uh, like logo or uh, custom uh, photo to be uh, represent the logo of the checkout page uh, also we have the ability to um, add the position for checkout uh, to be on the left side or on the right side um, also we can add um, uh, the main content area of background image background order order uh, summary so all of these features uh, comes up with um, the checkout page uh, we can change or customize all of these uh, features at the checkout so that's all for uh, the home page at the the theme then let's come back again to the theme page so that's all oh, here we see we can uh, see all of uh, our changes uh, at this uh, page so that's all here we see the logo the menu the slider, the content, uh, the collections, the featured uh, collections, uh, the bottom menu. That's all. We can customize, add, enable, disable. That's all. Let's come back again here to continue. Now we have finished uh, from uh, the first part of uh, basic settings um, at Presta Shop uh, Store. Uh, now it's the time uh, to go to the next uh, lecture of um, uh, blogs or blog post how to customize how to add and how to uh, manage the uh, blog post so uh, so that uh, that's all for this uh, lecture and see you in next lecture of blog posts goodbye